They're Muslims. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He alone deserves to be praised. <coughs> who is alone without partner. And we send salutations upon His final messenger, Muhammad ibn Abdullah, the final prophet and messenger of Allah. Dear Muslims, we find ourselves in a situation, as has been mentioned before, <coughs> where we are facing many trials and tribulations, many challenges in the life of the Muslim, <coughs> whether that be as an individual, whether that be amongst our families, our communities, and the Ummah as a whole. Many times we look for solutions to these problems, Sometimes we look in the right place. We look to the religion, and sometimes, unfortunately, we look outside of that, and this is a mistake. All of the answers to the problems, the challenges that we face, are already with us, in our hands, literally. Meaning that our salvation and our success is in obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and following the teachings of the messenger, the final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Following the Qur'an and the sunnah upon the understanding of the companions. Following the book of Allah, its orders, its legislation. And following that example, the best of examples, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an, إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ تَنْهَا عَنِ الْفَحْشَاءِ وَالْمُنْكَرِ Allah mentions that indeed the salat, it should or serves as a means of preventing a person from falling into evil and shameful deeds. This salat, this prayer, which is the second pillar of Islam. So our topic today, we'll discuss one aspect of this great and noble pillar of Islam. As a means of seeking to increase our iman, as a means that we can look at this as a way we can rectify our condition. As a way we can rectify our condition. For indeed this prayer that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed for us, which is an obligation five times a day, is something which if a servant, if the servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala contemplates on it and attains a level of humility and khushu, then this can be a means of rectification. For amongst those ways of attaining that khushu, that humility, that comfort, that ease in the salah, is that a person reflects upon the words of his prayer. Take note, reflects upon the words of his prayer. So one could ask first of all, ask yourself and know yourself, do you understand the Arabic language? Do you understand the language that you recite the book of Allah in and recite this prayer? Then this is the first action. If the answer is no, then the next action for you is to learn the Arabic language. Learn what you can from the language that will help you to understand your religion. No one is saying you need to be a scholar of the language, but learn whatever is required from it for you to understand your religion and understand who you're speaking to in your salah, how to speak to Allah, how you are speaking to Allah and understanding his book. So this prayer, in it, we are required to recite a particular surah in every rakah. And we mentioned in previous khutbah that the Qur'an itself is about tawheed, the call to tawheed, the reward for the people who uphold tawheed, the reward for the people who go against tawheed and fall into shirk. As we see today, people are in a state of loss, involved in all kinds of activities, that do not lead or direct a person to the worship of Allah alone, rather it leads to other than that. And again, unfortunately, you find some of the Muslims even involved in that. And we ask Allah to save us from that. So this surah, as we mentioned, surah, that is recited in every, every rakat, has a great virtue. Just like we mentioned previously, that the Qur'an, Ayatul Kursi, is the greatest ayah, the greatest ayah in the Qur'an, the greatest verse. Likewise, today we mention Surah Al-Fatiha being the greatest Surah in the Qur'an for what it contains, for what it contains. And if we as Muslims just strive to understand something from this Surah, just a little bit, we'll find our lives will change. We'll find that if we were...